Okay, thank you very much for looking at this video. This is a descriptive video of a new course that George Buckley and myself, Tim Weiskill, are trying for the first time this semester. So congratulations, you're part of a new, new experiment altogether. That means, among other things, that you can't look back at previous editions of this course, because there weren't any. Um, so we're going to try to describe for you briefly here what's involved with this course. It's part of the sustainability degree at um, the Extension School, and it can be taken independently of the degree itself. You can sign up either for graduate credit, for undergraduate credit, or as an auditor. No credit whatsoever, you have no assignments to submit, whatever. You can just sort of watch all of the lectures, get access to all the material we'll be presenting, but you don't have to do anything by way of submitting material. And several people have chosen to do that. In any case, it's part of the sustainability degree if you are doing a graduate degree and part of the undergraduate uh, completion of things if you're doing the undergraduate part. It's called Envisioning a Sustainable Future because we've spent a lot of time in the past talking about a critique of one aspect or another of what's going on and not allowing students a chance to think about, okay, where are we moving toward? What would sustainability, sustainability look like in whatever field I'm interested in? Who's working on that? How can I get some course credit time to look into that? Who's in effect thinking 20, 30 years down the road about a sustainable future? So it's that challenge we're taking on in this new course, and the subtitle is Managing and Protecting the Environment. We're going to take our clues, in many cases, from individuals who've been luminaries in the field, thinking about conservation, preservation, and protecting the environment. And in some cases, we're going to be looking, for example, at case studies of individuals who've had a big impact in a particular area, preserving certain kind of animals or whole ecosystems, for example, or have had an impact historically on the whole conservation, preservation, and environmental defense movement. For example, tonight you'll all be able to watch a two-hour special on PBS on Rachel Carson. Well, she's inspired many generations, and it's material from her biography that we'll be drawing on in some cases, but also biographies of many other individuals who've been luminaries in thinking about sustainability. Whether they called it that or not, they're thinking about enduring ecosystems, how to preserve them, how to manage them, and more particularly, how to manage human interactions with ecosystems so as to assure sustainability in the future. Well, this is the catalog description of the course, and if you um, roll down here a bit, you can get right to the course website. And the course website repeats the catalog description and leads you on to other material. In the student view, you'll see a left-hand column of things, and you can migrate your way through them. Basically, the two key documents you want to look at are the syllabus, which is out here online, and the weekly schedule of class sessions, which will be linked from week to week to a link which you can click on and get further material. In this case, it's the discussion for week one, which is self-explanatory, and you can participate in it. It's all very well worked out. As they've done here at the Harvard Extension School, we say often <laughs> computers are designed by geniuses to be run by idiots. Now, in some sense, we're all idiots in the sense that we're late arriving to the computer as an environment, but we're making the best use of it in distance ed. We're reaching people beyond Cambridge, certainly beyond uh, Massachusetts, throughout the United States, and beyond this country, well beyond this country. One of the reasons why this course is so relevant and important at this point is that envisioning a sustainable future has come to mean something quite different than it did even at the last semester. We've had an election, those of you who aren't in the United States may not be aware of this, but we've had an election that has made a difference, and sustainability questions are going to be on the front burner 
um, in the coming months. So it's in that vein that we're going to be inviting you to undertake your research, present your material, share it with others in the class, and use these computer assets to interact with us on a semester-long basis. The next 15 weeks we're going to be engaged in this. So I'll turn it over to George at this point, the co-teacher in this course, and you can uh, take a little view at this Come back for the first class, which will be viewable by anyone as well. That is, the first class is viewable by anyone around the, the world as a free access uh, viewing experience. It's the second through the 15th that requires the password. George, it's all yours. Jim. Thank you. Professor Weiskel and I have been working diligently to think about where this course can take us, about managing and protecting the environment into the future. And what brought me to this is uh, my long, deep history in environmental management, two hands-on environmental management. And we hope through this course to bring together a collective of discussion, of readings, of some guest speakers that will help uh, energize our students to be thinking about where we've been, where we are, and where we're going, and their role in it. Uh, each person's role, each solution, may well be different for each town, each state, each country, each village, each island. And what we can do is we can take some of the best practices that have been used, that have been developed uh, over the years, and mold those for what we, f we need for the future. And so we hope that will help to have our students start thinking and writing about what their future will be. Not unlike when you're at Disney Spaceship Earth, they have you design your future. And uh, uh, ephemerally, but you design your own little future. And I was just there and I designed mine underwater living in the future. Uh, but each of us is going to have to think inward about where we have been and where we are going and there is a rich, long history. As Tim pointed out, Rachel Carson's, uh, this is a fourth major program about Rachel Carson. Uh, I met her when I was a high school student, just before uh, she passed on, having written uh, Silent Spring. Uh, but even then, when we look at Carson, we tend to focus on Silent Spring and forget totally that her entire life to that time is what built up the resonance, the respect, the laudability that allowed R Rachel Carson's Silent Spring to be published. If she had not done The Sea Around Us, Sea is All About Us, and won multiple writing awards for those as a natural history writer and natural history person of the first order, Silent Spring wouldn't have seen the light of day. And so we uh, will try to look deeper into some of these people from Rachel Carson to E.O. Wilson to Sylvia Earle, uh, while two-thirds of the world is covered by ocean teach my oceans course this, this semester, uh, we live on the rest. And of what's left of the rest, we live on a part of it. And, uh, and to date, there's, you could probably count in the fingers of a hand or two the number of, of weeks or months that people have actually lived underwater. If you counted all my hours underwater, come up to a while. But we need to think about how do we respect that ocean, it's two-thirds of the Earth and most of its climate uh, operational systems, uh, and how do we work on land? We'll be looking at E.O. Wilson, who's proposed we save half the Earth that's left. Uh, Sylvia Earle has proposed that we save half the ocean that's left unpolluted. So it's going to be an interesting course as we discuss these, these issues over the next coming 15 weeks and have you read and talk and chat and collaborate. We hope there'll be a lot of collaboration in the chat room live during the class, in the discussion sessions. So join us as we, uh, we go out in this joint adventure and take you with us.